Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today we're doing an options at video in a neighborhood with not a lot of vegan options. At least not historically, but they are growing. I'm in Bay Ridge, where I spent most of my childhood, and I'll be bringing my little brother along, Daniel, to try, oh, now you're taller, I have to put my arm higher, <laughs> to try Louis Gyros. Um, they're like Greek style gyros, and there's like, I think falafel, and some other stuff, spinach pies, whatever. We're just gonna go pick through their vegan options and check them out and let you know if it's worth going to. So let's go. Oh, also, it's cold. I don't know what time I'm publishing this, but like, it's April 2nd on this end of the camera, and we've just had about two weeks of beautiful weather, and today I woke up, it was 30 degrees. Disgusting, disgusting. Oh, damn it, it's cold. I don't even know if you guys can hear me over the wind. Oh, I love it. I love the paint job and everything. Oh my God, people are staring at me for filming. All right, so these are the vegan options they had. I ended up getting the gyro and the falafel pita. They're unfortunately out of the tzatziki and the pies, so we got a uh, hummus on the side instead as a sauce. If you want to scan for the menu, here you go. That's a QR code. Consider the bag secured, show them the bag. Bag is secured. Woo! I was kind of disappointed they were out of the tzatziki, they were out of the spinach pies, but they said they've had a busy week, so I'm, I'm happy for them. Um, but we did get everything vegan that we could get, which was the falafel sandwich, the gyro, which is like what I was most excited about, and then some fries and some hummus. So we're gonna head home where it's not freezing cold, and we're gonna taste test. The best place we have to shoot is my room. If you were here during quarantine, you're very familiar with this site. I used to shoot all of my quarantine videos right here in front of my bed, so hi. It's back for a minute, hello. Oop. I would have shot outside, I prefer to shoot. Are you okay? <laughs> you made me move back and I slammed my oh, shoulder. Oh, sorry. I prefer to shoot outside, but it is too cold for that. It is too cold. I am I am sad. I am sad there's no uh, cheese pie. I'm sad there's no spinach pie. And I'm sad there's no tzatziki. But it's okay. We're going to do what we got to do. You want to start with a french fry appetizer? I did call them afterwards and like ask them what the gyro is made out of. Um, and they said vegan. So I said, elaborate. Can you please elaborate? And then they said vegetables. So maybe it's like, you know those ones that are dehydrated vegetables and mushrooms and stuff? Maybe it's that. But I don't think the girl on the phone knew exactly what's inside the gyro. So take that with a grain of salt. They call it napkin. Napkin? No, you didn't bring the bag upstairs. You just brought the food. Maybe there's a bag. Maybe in the sauce. Because it didn't have tzatziki. They gave us hummus as a dip. We can compare it to our grandma's hummus. But it's a pretty harsh comparison. It's different. It's good though. Why do you look so sleepy? Oh, yeah. Wake up. Eat more hummus. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like my grandma's, but then again, nothing really does. They're Greek <laughs> and she's Palestinian, so there's a lot of food interlaps there, but everyone has their own twist, like every country. I got every grandma. The main reason we got here is the vegan. Hopefully, it's good without sauce. Do you want to take the first bite? Sure. Wait, sh show them. They put a lot of vegetables. So you have like a layer of like gyro meat right here, and then tomatoes, lettuce, I'm scared to open it. Onion, yeah, tomatoes, lettuce, and onion. I don't know what the ratio to vegetable the meat is, but once we start eating, we'll find out. While he does that, I'm just gonna try the actual gyro meat itself. I literally just ate like vegan gyro at the Halal Guys, so I have something pretty similar to compare it to. Let's go. Mm. Daniel, it's low key sausagey. It's good. The bread is spot on too. It's good. It needs a sauce, bro. Yeah, desperately. Needs a sauce. Which that's not their fault because they usually do have it with a sauce. Gluten napkins. <laughs> okay. But I'll tell you this the meat to vegetable ratio is decent. I thought it would be like a lot of vegetables and barely any meat, but that is a decent amount of meat right there. The meat itself is really good. The flavor isn't super strong, but it is meaty and it's seasoned. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Clumsiness runs in the family, I guess. I like the hummus more than I thought I would. <laughs> you wanna try the falafel? Mm-hmm. 
Again, no sauce, so sad. But you can try an actual bite and I'll start with the falafel. You always want to see a bright green falafel. That's a good sign. A bright green falafel is a good sign. This one's a little bit tough Darker. looking. No, it's green, but it's like Wait, no, yeah, no, a little green. tough. We'll see. Nice. Much cumin. It's okay. The texture is a little bit dry. And that's not because there's no sauce. Like, the actual falafel texture, it's supposed to be like very soft on the inside and crispy on the outside, but it's like a little bit dry. It tastes good though. So maybe it's just, um, these got cold? Not, the, you... not to beat the, uh, the dead beat here. <laughs> Wait, what's the? Oh, PETA doesn't like the expression, yeah. beat a dead horse. So they say, feed a fed horse. Not to feed this fed horse, but a little sauce would help. Beat the dead beat. Feed the dead beat? No. That was the only thing that come, came to my mind quickly. I don't know, feed a fed horse kind of works. Because you wouldn't feed a fed horse. And if he's being a good horse. Maybe. I prefer the gyro one though. Oh yeah. Yo, there's lettuce all over my floor. <laughs> <laughs> We're both low-key messy eaters and there's just a lot of, like look how much stuff is in this. I, I appreciate how full they made this gyro. I really do. I wish you tried the gyro at Halal, guys. Was it good? It was very good. And their tzatziki sauce was very good, too. Remember when I was stuck here for quarantine and I was like trying to go through a bunch of Bay Ridge vegan options? Can I have a napkin? Well, I'm about to be in a similar boat. Not that I'll be stuck here, but that I'll be in this neighborhood a lot because I'm building the camper, you know? What I'm thinking is I'm gonna try to start hitting a lot of Bay Ridge restaurants again. Obviously, I'm still gonna be doing Manhattan and like the greater parts of Brooklyn, but because I'm gonna be here, might as well, you know, check out their new spots. Anyway, so just wanted to go in there and check it out. I hope you liked this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.